You're watching Newsline. Tokyo Electric Power Company says plutonium has been found in soil from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. It says the level detected is very low and does not pose a threat to human health. The detected amount of plutonium is extremely small and will not affect the human health. But we'd like to reinforce monitoring of the surrounding environment from now on, just in case. TEPCO collected samples from five locations around the power plant over two days from March 21st and found two samples contaminated with plutonium. Plutonium is a byproduct of the nuclear power generation process using uranium fuel. At the number three reactor of the Fukushima plant, plutonium is an ingredient in mixed oxide fuel or MOX fuel. Radioactivity from plutonium can be shielded by a sheet of paper, but it can remain in human lungs and other organs and cause long-term damage, including cancer. Highly radioactive water has been detected outside the turbine building for reactor number two of the troubled Fukushima Daiichi plant. Workers have already measured dangerous levels of radioactivity inside the building. We have already reported that radioactive water has been found in the turbine buildings for reactors one, two, and three. Now we have found water in the section between the underground area of the building and the sea, in the area called the trench. The TEFCO official said workers detected the contamination in the trench on Sunday. They recorded more than 1,000 millisieverts per hour on the water's surface. To put that in perspective, exposure to 200 millisieverts of radiation is considered a health risk. The trench is connected to the turbine building by power cables and pipes. It stretches 76 meters to the Pacific, but authorities say it's not linked to the ocean. The water in the trench was one meter away from ground level on Sunday afternoon, and things haven't changed much since then. TEPCO says it's unlikely the radioactive water is leaking into the ocean. It took one day for the power company to report the radiation level it detected in the trench. Its Vice President Sakai Emuto said he only received the data on a Monday afternoon and TEPCO had no intention of hiding it. Many things are happening on a daily basis. In this case, an extremely high level of radiation was detected in the water. For any such critical information, we must provide the information quickly. So I would reinforce the need to do so. TEPCO is trying to determine the source of the radioactive water in the trench. One possibility is the inside of Reactor 2's turbine building. The level of radiation in the water there was almost more than 1,000 millisieverts per hour at one point. Japan's Independent Nuclear Safety Commission believes the contamination inside the turbine building comes from nuclear fuel that may have temporarily melted. The commission believes the water came in contact with damaged rods in the reactor and somehow leaked out. An American doctor who visited the areas near the troubled nuclear